Hey guys, I'm T, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week, and if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Today I'll be teaching how to make a cardigan. For this slouchy affair, we kept it simple with a stitch combination that we love, added a bit of class with some thick borders, and kept it comfy with a more relaxed fit. Speaking of, if you're looking to relax with a crochet project, you are in the right place. We have hundreds of modern crochet designs and patterns perfect for every occasion, including new patterns weekly, so consider clicking the bell to subscribe and you'll never miss an upload. Also, do me a huge favor and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, or two thumbs down if you don't. Either way, it's a great way to show support so I can keep putting out free tutorials every Wednesday and Sunday. Now, it's time to get on the show, so without further ado... For this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I used a total of 650 grams of yarn, and that is a thousand yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a six millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order, and enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us if you are a sweet or savory dessert kind of person. Both are amazing and needed for a balanced life, but I would have to say savory desserts for me. Details for the giveaway down below. We're using three stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. And half double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we'll explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this cardigan started, we're all going to grab our Category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're all going to grab our 6mm hook, and we're all going to start by making an even number chain that reaches from the top of our shoulder down to where we want the bottom of this cardigan to be, keeping in mind that we will have a bottom band as well. I'd like for mine to be a little bit oversized, so I'm going to make a chain of 21 and a half inches, or 55 centimeters, and that's going to be a chain of 74. And I already have my front panel finished, so I'm just going to be doing a small sample size with you. Now that we have our chain, we're going to do the first row in our six row repeat, and that's going to be a mesh stitch row. So we're all going to start by blocking off that last chain and do a chain two. That first chain is going to count as our turning chain. That second chain is going to count as a chain. And what we're going to do from here is single crochet into the fourth chain from our hook. So let's count one. Two, those are the two chains that we just made. Three should be that chain that we blocked off. And four. Into that fourth chain, bring your hook down and insert with a single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And we have just made our first chain space for this row. Let's do this again. Right after that single crochet, we're all going to chain one, skip one stitch, and into the following, insert with another single crochet and we should now have one two chain spaces let's do just one more chain one skip one stitch and into the following insert with a single crochet and all together we should now have one two three chain spaces from here we're going to continue to chain one skip a stitch and single into the next until we make our way to the end of the row now that our first row is complete, our second row and our sixth row repeat is going to be a single crochet row. So all we're going to do from here is chain one, flip our work, and now put one single crochet into every stitch and chain space to reach the end of the row. And as a quick tip, we should have the same amount of stitches as chains that we made when we started off this section. So into the top of that last single crochet from our previous row, insert your hook with one single crochet into that following stitch, which should be a chain space, just insert your hook into that entire gap with another single crochet. And continue with one single crochet into every stitch and chain space to reach the end of the row. We are now at the end of our row two. Our third row in our sixth row repeat is going to be another mesh stitch row, so let's get that started. Getting started on our mesh stitch row, we're going to start it with a chain two, that first chain is going to count as a turning chain. That second chain is going to count as a chain and flip our work. 
Now we want the same chain spaces as our first mesh stitch row, so we're going to skip that first stitch, and then into the following insert with a single crochet, forming our first chain space. Let's do that again. Chain one, skip a stitch, into the following, single crochet, and that's it. We're gonna continue doing this until we reach the end of the row. We are back and we should all now have one, two, three rows for our six row repeat all finished. Right after that mesh stitch row, we're gonna get started on a row four, which is going to be another single crochet row. So just like getting started on our previous single crochet row, we're all going to chain one, flip our work and put one single crochet into every stitch and chain space till the end of the row. So find that first stitch from our previous row, insert with a single crochet. Find that next stitch from our previous row, which should be a chain space. Insert your hook with a single crochet again. And continue with one single crochet into every stitch and chain space till we reach the end of the row. And a quick tip, we should have the same amount of rows as chains that we made when we start off a section again. We are back and we should all have one, two, three, four rows finished. Now getting started on our fifth row for a six row repeat, it's going to be a half double crochet row. So right after the single crochet row, we're all going to chain two and flip our work. And it's just going to be one half double crochet into every stitch. So getting that started, we're all going to yarn over preparing for a half double. Insert your hook into that last stitch from our previous row, yarn over, pull through. When we have those three loops, yarn over, pull through all three of those loops. Let's do that again. Yarn over, insert your hook into that following stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Continue with one half double crochet into every stitch. We should now all have one, two, three, four, five rows for our six row repeat all finished and getting started on our six row that's going to be another half double crochet row. So let's all chain two and flip our work. And just like our previous row, we're going to be putting one half double crochet into every stitch. So as a refresher, yarn over. Find the last stitch from our previous row, insert your hook, pull through, pull through all three, and continue with one half double crochet into every stitch. We are back and all six rows are finished. As a refresher, our row one should be a mesh stitch row. Two is a single crochet row, Three is another mesh stitch row. Four is another single crochet row. And rows five and six are half double crochet rows. Now for this portion of our piece, we are not gonna have any increases or decreases. So we should have the same amount of stitches for every row that we have as chains that we made when we got started on this section. And from here, all we're going to do is continue to repeat these six rows until we have a portion that reaches from the base of our neck across our shoulder till we're about two inches past the tip of our shoulder because we want this to be a little oversized. Now we can end on any row. So after the last row, once we have the length that we want, do a chain up of one and cut, and then I will meet you back. But just to get started on the following row, let's all chain two and flip our work. So getting started on our row seven, we did a chain two. Our row seven is going to be a mesh stitch row. So as a refresher, we're going to skip one stitch and then into the following, a single crochet, forming our first chain space. And then again, chain one, skip the following and single. I will meet you back when we have our front panel all finished. I am back with one of my front panels. I have a total of 24 rows. My width is just about seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters. And once we have one of our front panels all finished up, we're actually going to be doing another one that is exactly the same. So once when we have our second front panel finished, I will meet you back so I can talk you guys through how we're going to be doing our back panel. And now that we have both of our front panels all finished up, getting started on our back panel, it's actually going to be done exactly the same way, just really wide because it needs to work across our back. So just as a refresher, we're all going to start by making a chain for the same amount of chains that we made when we started off our front panel. So for me, a chain of 74. And our row sequence is going to be the same. So it's going to be a mesh stitch row, a single, another mesh stitch row, another single, and then two half double crochet rows. And then repeat that until we have a back panel that can reach 
two inches past the tip of our shoulder, across our back, past two inches past the tip of our other shoulder. When we have that, do not do a chain up a one and cut because we need to single crochet across the top of our panels. And we just wanna make sure that the total amount of back panel rows that we have is more than the total amount of front panel rows that we have. So as an example, I had a total of 24 rows for one of my front panels, and we're gonna add that together. So 24 plus 24 is 48. So I'm just gonna make sure that my back panel is more than 48 rows. Now it doesn't really matter how much bigger it is. We just wanna have at least a little bit of gap between our front panels when we connect it to our back panel. So we have a little portion that can sit nicely on our shoulders and we have a comfortable neckline so we can wear it easier. I am back and my back panel is all finished. I have a total of 60 rows, which is 18 inches or 46 centimeters. Now from here, all we're gonna do is single crochet across the top of our back panel and then eventually our front panel so that they're a little bit easier to seam up. So right after that last stitch that we have, we're going to chain one and work across the side of our back panel. So all we're gonna do is put one single crochet into every side row. So let's all start by finding our first side row. My first side row is this half double crochet row right here. If yours is a mesh or a single crochet row, that's completely fine. All we're gonna do is find that top loop and insert your hook with one single crochet. Now we're gonna find our following side row, find that top loop and single crochet once into there as well. Mine is a side half double crochet row. So I'm just gonna find that top loop, insert with a single. Now I'm just going to do my six row repeat. So my following side row is a single crochet row. So I'm gonna find that top loop, insert with just one single. My following side row is a mesh stitch row. So find that top loop, insert with one single. My next row is a side single. So insert into that top loop with a single and then into my following side row, which is a mesh, insert into that top loop with another single. And we're going to continue doing this, making our way all the way down. We should have the same amount of single crochets as side rows that we have for our back panel. Once we do, do a chain up of one and cut, and then I'll meet you back so we can do the same thing across the top of our front panels. So we have just finished up single crocheting across the top of our back panel. Now let's switch our panels out to our front panel so we can do the same thing. So I've already single crocheted across the top of one of my front panels, so we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. And now just like our back panel, put one single crochet into every side row. And as a quick tip, we should have the same amount of single crochets as side rows that we have. When we've made our way all the way across, do a chain up of one and cut and then repeat on the other front panel. Okay, so now that we have just finished up single crocheting across the tops of our front panels, we're now going to seam our front panels to our back panel, starting with the shoulder. So getting started on the shoulder seam, we're all going to place our front panel on top of our back panel, making sure that our single crochets are along the same end. Then we're gonna be inserting our hook into the corner stitch of both the single crochet rows across the top of our front and back panel. You're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. Now from here, we're going to do a single crochet seam. So start by finding that next stitch into the front panel, insert your hook, find that next stitch into the back panel, insert your hook, and single crochet them together. Let's do that again. Into that next stitch into the front panel, insert your hook, next stitch into the back panel, insert your hook, and single, and that's it. We're going to continue to do this until we don't have any more stitches into the front panel left to work into. When we don't, do a chain up a one and cut and then repeat on the other side. So we have just finished up seaming our shoulders. Now we're going to seam up our sides. So making sure that our work is flipped wrong side out, meaning the seam that we have for the shoulders is still flipped on the outside. We're going to be inserting our hook into any even number stitch from the top, the width that we like for our sleeve to be. Now keeping in mind the lower that we insert our stitch marker, the wider our sleeve is going to be. I'd like for mine to be a really comfy sleeve, so I need about eight inches or 20 centimeters. So I insert my stitch marker into the 30th stitch from the top. And now from here, we're going to insert our hook into the bottom corner stitch of both the front and back panel. And then we're going to do another single crochet seam all the way up. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, 
pull through do a chain up of one to secure and now we're going to do another single crochet seam so the same seam that we did for the shoulder so start by finding that next stitch into the front panel and insert your hook find that next stitch into the back panel insert your hook and if you're like me you should have a couple tail ends so all I'm going to do so that I don't have to weave them in later is place my tail ends over my hook and now I'm going to single crochet over everything so that our tail ends are in between my single crochet. Let's do this again. Into that next stitch into the front panel, insert, next stitch into the back panel, insert, and single crochet. And that's it. We're going to continue doing this, making our way all the way up until we reach our stitch marker. When we do, do a chain up of one and cut and then repeat on the other side. So now that we have just finished up seaming everything together, we're now ready to get started on our sleeve. So first things first, let's make sure that our work is flipped right side out, right side up, and then we're going to be inserting our hook into the stitch that we have that's nearest to our side seam. And now from here, we're going to make an even number chain the length that we'd like for our sleeve to be. So you can make this as long or short as you'd like. I'd like for mine to be just about 14 inches or 35 centimeters because keep in mind, we will have a cuff as well. So I'm gonna start by making a chain 50. Now when it comes to the sleeve portion, we're going to have the same six row repeat. So starting with our mesh stitch row, we're all going to block off that last chain and do a chain two. Now we're going to single crochet into the fourth chain from our hook. So we're gonna count one, two, three, and four. Into that fourth chain, bring your hook down with just one single crochet, forming our first chain space. And now from here, chain one, skip a stitch and single crochet into the next. And we're gonna continue this till we reach the end of the row. So now that we've made our way all the way down with our first mesh stitch row, we're now going to connect it into the base and we're going to be connecting it into the base the same way for every row that we have. So all we're gonna do is find that next available stitch into the base, slip stitch it into there to connect our row one and that slip stitch does not count as a stitch, we just need to connect it. Now to work our way up to the following row, which is going to be our single crochet row, we're going to slip stitch into that next available stitch into the base. And when we have that slip stitch, we're going to flip our work. That slip stitch also doesn't count as a stitch. And getting started on our second row in our six row row sequence, we're gonna be putting one single crochet into every stitch. At the end of the row, we're gonna get started on our third row in our six row repeat, which is another mesh stitch row. So at the end of the row, chain two, flip our work, skip our first stitch and do a single crochet. Make our way all the way down with our mesh stitch row and I'll meet you back at the base. So I've made my way all the way down with one, two, three rows. Now we're gonna connect it into the base and then it's going to be our same six row repeat. So connecting our row three or any odd number row into the base, we're going to slip stitch into that next available stitch into the base. And now our row three is connected. That slip stitch still doesn't count as a stitch. We just need to connect it. Getting started on our following row, we're going to need to slip stitch into that next available stitch into the base. So into there, insert with a slip stitch and flip our work. Now the fourth row in our six row sequence is going to be another single crochet row. So continue on with one single crochet into every stitch and chain space. And our row five in our six row repeat is going to be a half double crochet row. So all we're gonna do at the end of the single crochet row is chain two, flip our work and put one half double crochet into every stitch, connect it into the base the same way that we just did then do our following half double crochet row. Then we will be all finished with our six row repeat. Then all we're gonna do is continue to repeat these six rows with no increases and no decreases until we make our way all the way around our armhole. When we do, I will meet you back so we can seam everything together. So I am back and I have made my way all the way around with my sleeve rows. I don't have any more stitches left to work into, so we're going to flip our work wrong side out so we can seam our sleeve together. Now that our work is flipped wrong side out, we're gonna be inserting our hook into the corner stitch of both the front and the back panel. And now we're going to do a single crochet seam. So the same seam that we did for the shoulders and the sides. So let's get that started. We're going to pull our yarn through, do a chain up of one to secure. And just to do the first one, we're all gonna start by finding that first stitch into the front panel, insert your hook, find that first stitch into the back panel, insert your hook and single crochet, and that's basically it. 
We're going to continue to do this until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. And when we don't, do a chain up of one and cut. And then I'll meet you back so we can get started on the cuff. So now that our sleeve is all seamed up, we're ready to get started on our cuff. So let's all make sure that our work is slipped right side out, right side up, and then we're going to insert our hook into any side row that we have along the bottom of our sleeve. Then we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure, and now we're going to do a decrease of two single crochets into every side row. So let's get started. This is my first side row right here. Now it doesn't matter if it's a half double, single, or mesh stitch row, we're just gonna find that top loop, insert your hook, pull through, and then into our following side row, insert into that top loop, pull through, pull through all three. Let's do that again. We're gonna find our following side row, insert, pull through, our following side row into that top loop, insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, and that's it. We're gonna continue doing a decrease of two single crochets into every side row, making our way all the way around. And then we're gonna slip stitch into that chain space. So our single crochet row is all finished up. Now we're going to get started on our row two, which is going to be a half double crochet row. So right after we've slip stitched into that chain space, all we're gonna do is chain two and put one half double crochet into every stitch. So yarn over, find that first stitch, insert with a half double, and continue making our way all the way around with one half double crochet into every stitch. So I have made my way all the way around with my half double crochet row and now we're going to close off the row. So we don't have any more stitches left to work into. All we're gonna do is count up the two chains that we made when we start off this row. There's one, there's two, and to close off our row, all we're gonna do is insert our hook into that second chain with a slip stitch. And now that our second row is finished, now we're going to do our ribbing rows, which is going to be front and back post double crochets. So right after we slip stitch into that second chain, we're going to chain two. And all we're gonna do is yarn over and find the first half double crochet from our previous row, making sure that we're not counting that chain two. And we're gonna bring our hook down and bring our hook underneath the body of that half double crochet. So bring our hook in through that gap, underneath that half double crochet and through the other side. Then we're gonna yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's it, let's do the next one. We're gonna alternate between a front and back post double crochet, so now let's do our back post. We're all going to yarn over, bring our hook underneath our work, through that next gap, and over that next half double crochet through the other side. Then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's it, let's do another set. We're all gonna yarn over, insert our hook underneath the body of that following half double crochet, bring it through the other side, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. There's our front post double crochet, now let's do our back. We're gonna yarn over, bring our hook underneath our work, over that next half double, through the other side, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. And that's it. We're gonna continue to alternate between a front and back post double crochet, making our way all the way around. When we don't have any more stitches left, slip stitch into that second chain that we made when we started this row. So we've made our way all the way around with our row three or our first front and back post double crochet row. Now from here, we're just going to continue to repeat our previous row until we get the length of the cuff that we want. So I'm just gonna get started on the following row with you. Just as a refresher, to connect any of our rows, we're going to slip stitch into that second chain that we made when we started this row. And now this row is complete. Right after we slip stitched into that second chain, all we're gonna do is chain two. And making sure that we're working in the same direction that we were previously working into, we're all gonna start with one front post double crochet because the first stitch that we have right here is also front post double crochet and we want to have a really clean rib. So let's all yarn over. Find that first stitch from our previous row insert your hook, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Now let's do our back post, yarn over, bring our hook underneath our work, over that following stitch, through the other side, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. And that's it, we're just gonna continue on with our front and back post double crochet rows until we get the length of the cuff that we want. Once when we do, do a chain up of one and cut and then I will meet you back. So I am back and my cuff is all finished. I have a total of nine rows and this length is just about three inches or eight centimeters. 
I did do a chain up of one and cut, and now all we're gonna do is repeat everything we did here on the other side. So now that our sleeve and cuffs are all finished, let's get started on the bottom band. So now let's take a look at the bottom, and we're gonna insert our hook into the bottom corner stitch of our front panel. We're then going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure, and we're gonna start by putting one single crochet into every side row, so just to do the first few, this is my first side row right here. I'm gonna find that top loop and insert with one single. Into my following side row, I'm gonna insert into that top loop with another single, and that's it. We're gonna continue with one single crochet into every side row, making our way to the other front panel corner. All right, so our first single crochet row is finished up and we're gonna get started on the length of our bottom band and it's gonna be done almost the same way as the cuff. So the second row is going to be a half double crochet row. So from where we're at, we're all going to chain two and flip our work. And now we're gonna put one half double crochet into every stitch. I'll meet you back at the end of the row. So our half double crochet row is finished. Now we're gonna get started on our ribbing. So they're going to be front and back post double crochets, just like our cuff. So right after that last stitch, we're all gonna chain two and flip our work. Now just to do the first one, let's do a front post double. We're all gonna yarn over, insert our hook into that second half double crochet from our previous row, not that first, because we want a clean edge. So underneath that second half double crochet, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and then underneath that following half double, yarn over, Bring our hook underneath our work, over that following half double, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and that's it. We're gonna continue to do our front and back post double crochets until we reach the end of the row. So we have made our way all the way down with our front and back post double crochets. Now, just to make sure that our edges are straight, we're gonna be putting one half double crochet into the top of that chain two from our previous row and that's going to be how we always end off our rows. And now from here, we're going to do a repeat. So let's all chain two and flip our work. So now that our work is flipped, we're going to extend our stitches from our previous row. So our stitches may be a little different for everyone, but let me just show you what I have. So the first stitch that I have right here looks like a back post double crochet. And since we want ribbing, I will be doing a back post double crochet into that stitch. If yours looks like a front post double crochet, you will be doing a front post double crochet. So just to do mine, I'm gonna yarn over, insert our hook underneath the body of that first stitch, which is a back post, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and then just to do the next one, my next one looks like a front post double crochet, so I'll be doing a front post double crochet. But if yours looks like a back post, you'll be doing a back post double crochet. So yarn over, I'm going to insert my hook and finish off my post stitch. And that's it. We're gonna to continue to extend our previous row stitches. At the end of the row, don't forget to put one half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row, chain two, flip our work, and continue to extend our previous row stitches until we get a bottom band portion, the length that we'd like for it to be. Once when we do, do a chain up of one and cut. All right, so I am back and my bottom band is all finished. Now I have a total of nine rows, that is including my first single crochet row along the bottom. And that's a total of three inches or eight centimeters. Now from here, we're going to start working on the front band. So we're gonna make sure that our work is slipped right side out, right side up, and we're gonna be inserting our hook into the bottom corner stitch of our bottom band. So we're all gonna start by inserting our yarn onto our hook, pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. And from here, we're going to be alternating between one to two single crochets into every side ribbing row that we have. So to get this started, we're all gonna start by finding our first side row. This is mine right here. I'm going to find that top loop and insert my hook. And if you're like me, you have some tail ends, go ahead and place that over your hook so that you don't need to weave them in later. And all we're gonna do is one single crochet. Now into our following side row, this is mine right here. I'm gonna insert my hook into there with two single crochets. So there is one. And then into that same top loop with a second single crochet. And that's it, let's do the next set. This is my following side row. I'm gonna insert my hook in through there with one single crochet. And then into that following side row, 
with two single crochets. And we're going to continue to alternate between one to two until we reach our first single crochet row that we did for the bottom band. Now I've just worked our way up our bottom band and now we're going to single crochet into that side single crochet row that we have when we got started with our bottom band. And from here, all we're gonna do is put one single crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way up and over our back, down the other panel, and then once we reach the bottom panel on the other side, continue to alternate between one to two single crochet into every side row. And that's it. From there, we're going to repeat everything that we did here for the bottom band. So our following row after the single crochet row is going to be a half double crochet row. So chain two, flip our work, and put one half double crochet into every stitch. And then right after that, it's going to be rows of front and back post double crochets, making sure that once we get past our row three, we are extending our previous row stitches to get the same ribbing that we have for the bottom band. And we're just gonna continue to do that until we have the front band length that we'd like. And once we do, do a chain up of one and cut. And there you have it. Hope y'all enjoy the tutorial. Join us on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. Those links are down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Catch y'all the next one. Bye.